A forest, not unlike the closest one to where you live. Yet, deep within, a family of rabbits has made its home, hidden far from the hustle and bustle of our human ways. However, in some ways, we are alike. Let me explain. Better yet, let's go and visit them. Gampa, Gampa, Billy said I didn't give all I had when we were playing ball, and I told him I did several times. But we still lost the game, and now he blames me, shouted David, the youngest of the bunny family. The only one who knows they gave all is the only one who really knows. Do you understand, David? Questioned Grandpa. No, Grandpa, I don't, admitted David. To give all is to give everything you have, even if you have nothing at all to give. Knowing you did your best at whatever it was you had to do or give, I'll explain later tonight, said Grandpa Bunny. That evening, after supper had ended, Grandpa Bunny gathered all the children into the family room and told them to sit in a circle around his chair. As they all sat down, Grandpa Bunny removed a huge book from a bookshelf. After he placed his reading glasses on his face, he sat down and opened the book before them. Each bunny looked in curiosity at each other, and then Grandpa Bunny spoke. In this book is the answer to every question, every problem we may come in contact with. It has helped me all my life, and I owe my life to it. I want to tell you a little bit about it. Let me begin with a story about the birth of a baby boy. And yet this baby boy is unlike all of the other ones. For before he was born, an angel came to his mother and said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. During this time, Grandpa Bunny added, A man by the name of Caesar Augustus wanted to count all the people according to the places in which they lived. So Mary's husband Joseph took Mary, who was with child, to Bethlehem, because that is where he was from. When they reached Bethlehem, they had no place to stay because all of the rooms were filled and Mary was about to have the baby. The only place Joseph could find was a manger, and so it was there that the Son of God was born. Mary had wrapped him in cloth. Now at some stage, Rich men from the east called Magi came to Bethlehem to honor Jesus because God had placed a star in the sky and he told them to follow it until it led them to the child. When they saw Mary and her baby, they fell to the ground and they worshiped him. Then opening all their treasures, they presented to him many gifts. During this time, Shepherds were keeping watch over their sheep, and angels of the Lord appeared before them and said, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. For today, in the city of David, there is born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. You will find him lying in a manger. And immediately they all left to see Jesus. While all these people came to see Jesus, the angels appeared in the night sky and said, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among all men with whom he is pleased. Now as Grandpa Bunny was finishing the story, the youngest bunny, David, had a dream that he was right there in Bethlehem. He saw it all. Mary and Joseph, the manger, it looked like a small barn to him. Certainly not like a place to have a baby. Hay, donkey, and other animals also. 
He saw the rich men on their camels and approaching the manger. And he saw the shepherds too. David needed a closer look. So hop by hop, he went to the manger. He watched the magi give all the gifts to the baby. This was all too exciting. David moved closer and closer until finally, it was David in front of baby Jesus. He didn't know what to do. He wasn't rich. He couldn't give them all the fine things that the rich men gave him. All he could think of to offer was a walnut he saved from dinner. But how could that measure up to all the beautiful things Jesus received from everyone else? Shamefully, David reached into his pocket and brought out the walnut. It was all that he had. David proceeded to give it as Jesus looked up at David and smiled. Just then, Mary reached out her hand. David, David, wake up. You were dreaming, whispered Grandpa. I understand what it is to give all, Grandpa. I was there in Bethlehem. I didn't know what to give him. I had nothing. But I gave all I could, and he accepted it, Grandpa. He accepted me, wept David. Yes, David, it doesn't matter to God how rich or how poor you are. All he cares about is that you give your all, and he expects that when you do give your all. You do it sincerely. Now you should go to bed. It's running late, smiled Grandpa. Good night, Grandpa. I love you. With that, David hopped into his bed.